We've been thinking about the fate of plastic that's already in the environment and formulated a hypothesis that's called the global plastic toxicity debt. If you want to read more about this, you can follow the link in the description. The basic idea is that plastic is a fairly unusual pollutant because it's actually particles. And particles have a surface area and an internal volume. And uh, plastic particles can also fragment into smaller and smaller pieces in the environment. That's the basic observation here. Plastic particles are not just these polymers, but they also contain additives and uh, other impurities. Inevitably, those are part of any plastic particle because they've either been added on purpose, such as additives to give a certain plastic its desired traits like um, lack of flammability or color, or the impurities that result from the production process, such as non-incorporated monomers, for example. And these are chemicals that can move or diffuse within the plastic particles. Eventually, eventually they can arrive at the, at the surface of the plastic particles and can then be released into the environment where they can affect uh, biota, for example, in the soil or in the water, because they can be partially toxic. Now, the consequence of this is that as particles are present in the environment, they will fragment into smaller and smaller pieces. Now, when they fragment into smaller and smaller pieces, the internal volume decreases and the surface area increases in the population of these particles. And that means that the chemicals that are inside of these plastic particles, additives and other impurities, they will have, over time, an easier time to reach the surface of these particles because diffusion becomes more and more efficient, the smaller the diffusion pathways are. And therefore, after these particles are fragmented into smaller and smaller pieces, more and more of these uh, chemicals with partially toxic effects can be released into the environment. And this can happen more effectively and efficiently uh, the smaller these particles become. Additionally, as plastic particles fragment into smaller and smaller pieces, they're not really effectively degraded, uh, but rather they just are fragmented into smaller and smaller sizes, so eventually they can reach the size of nano-sized particles, nanoplastics. And nanoplastics are also themselves frequently toxic in their effects on biota. And both of these additives and impurities that uh, diffuse out of the plastic particles and the fact that the plastic particles fragment into smaller and smaller sizes, leading to nano-sized particles of plastic, both of them together will contribute to this hypothesized plastic toxicity debt. Now, what do we mean by that word, <laughs> toxicity debt? So it's basically a concept borrowed from conservation biology, whereby when a habitat is fragmented, the individual islands for a short period of time can support larger populations than you would expect uh, according to equilibrium conditions. That is because the real-time di real dynamics lag behind the um, equilibrium conditions. And so in, in parallel, we think that this might be happening also with plastic in the environment. We have basically already incurred this future increase in potential toxicity if this hypothesis ends up uh, proven correctly or supported. And um, there's basically nothing or very little we can do right now to prevent this from happening because we've already incurred this debt by all this plastic that's in the environment. The reason this is important to think about is that um, experiments, including our own, on microplastic effects are basically currently focused on looking at short-term effects on, for example, soils or other ecosystem compartments. And this idea suggests that it might be really important also to look into longer term effects with suitable experimental design so that you can access some of the mechanisms at least that would be important as these particles stay in the environment for longer. We know already that uh, effects can differ quite a bit uh, when plastics have been exposed to um, environmental influences that weather these particles 
and a study conducted in our lab has already shown that toxicity of particles that has been basically removed by washing these particles and basically freeing uh, the particle surfaces of the easily diffusible toxic additives and other impurities, this toxicity can be regained as you leave these particles in the environment, allowing um, further chemicals basically to diffuse to the surface of these particles and then be released into the environment. And you can find a link to that paper also in the description. So I think we need more um, research like this that accesses the long-term effects. This is also probably important for policymakers to consider because we should not just be concerned with the immediate effects of plastic, but we should also think ahead in terms of what future consequences of this plastic that's already in the environment uh, basically can mean for soil biota and other ecosystem components. And while this is all a hypothesis that now needs to be uh, tested and either refuted or supported, one thing is clear. I think we should try to do everything possible to avoid future release of plastic in the environment so we at least keep this potential debt of toxicity as low as possible.